Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This is gonna be a love reading all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling towards you, towards the connection? What are their intentions towards you uh, in the near future? Keep in mind also these readings are general Capricorn. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's get into this. Spirit Angels Guides. Messages, please. Guidance for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, about the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What are this person's energies, thoughts, feelings towards Capricorn? What are this person's thoughts, feelings towards Capricorn? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Capricorn? Or this connection we need to know spirit we need to know the Hierophant Taurus energy five of wands and the seven of cups um, I'm thinking of inner conflict here I think that this is someone that is fighting themselves right now they could be dealing with an outside conflict as well that doesn't have anything to do with your connection specifically but i just picture that this person they're like struggling with themselves because they want to do the right thing maybe uh, this is someone you're already in a commitment with capricorn or this person is thinking of commitment with the higher font could be dealing with the taurus as well but the seven of cups and the five of wands this is really where i'm picking up this main energy of someone like not sure what to do about how they feel or about a problem we're, we're going to clarify and see bottom of the deck we have the two of cups so i sense that this person feels you are the person for them uh there's mutual feelings here or at least an understanding um they see you as an equal perhaps here with the two of cups um let's get some energies down here can i get some more insight into this person's energies when it comes to capricorn or this connection what do we need to know, sir? For Capricorn, what are this person's energies towards Capricorn? What are this person's energies towards Capricorn? I'm getting some strange messages. Okay, standing firm, defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. Maybe they're trying to find courage. Maybe they're trying to stand firm in their convictions, be strong. Um, yeah, tie it up at the bottom of the deck. I think that there's some sort of issue here that this person, um, I'm picturing someone at the bottom of like a mountain. So I'm getting, you know, it could be that this is someone that feels there's a mountain to climb, a problem to solve, and they need to be strong. They need to have courage. Maybe they're feeling a bit tied up in their circumstances or like they have nowhere to turn for advice or counsel. Um, maybe they feel stuck in their situation. We'll see. So I'm just starting this reading. So we'll see what else comes up for this person. What are their energies towards Capricorn, towards this person? What are their energies towards Capricorn? Breathe in, meditation, healing, rest. Take time to meditate and relax your mind and body. Paralyzing fear at the bottom of the deck. Yes, this person is fighting themselves. Like I'm picturing two very different people here. One that's very calm, collected, and more like go with the flow, let things happen. And one that's like, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to fight my way through. I'm ready to go to battle, etc. So let's see what else we get when we clarify. So we're going to get some clarity, please, for Capricorn. Tell me about the higher font. Capricorn, these are their energies towards you. So when they think about you or this connection, this is what your person is thinking about. Oh, tell me about the higher font. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the higher font? Justice. Libra energy. Okay, so when I say justice in the higher font, I immediately think of marriage, contracts, 
official government situations like, you know, signing paperwork at a government office or laws passed, etc. Some of you, this is a very small number of you. I don't feel like it's strongly for, for a lot of you. I feel like you work with this person in like an official building. Others of you, I'm getting that this person, it's like they're trying to tap into this energy for some reason. Why? What's at the bottom of the deck? Okay, three of swords. Yeah, there's something that's going on between you and this person or just this person's struggling right now. Three of swords. Um, maybe they're going through some sort of difficulty. Maybe they're sad, heartbroken. We have the ten of cups after that. Can I get one more for the higher font? Let's let me get a little bit more clarity here. Tell me about the higher font. What do we need to know about the higher font? The Four of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to get one more. Can I get one more for Capricorn, please? Why is the higher font? Yeah, why is the higher font here? So there's that Seven of Wands, which is that standing firm energy. Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Very similar energy. And the Ace of Cups. The Four of Pentacles is holding on. And the Seven of Wands is like fighting back. Standing firm. This card. This energy. Being strong. I'm trying to figure this person out. There's the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like this has to do with you in some way. But I, I'm not understanding why right now. It's like this person doesn't know whether to hold back or fight back. And I sense that they're thinking about this in a very logical, practical way with the Hierophant and the Justice card. Um, they're wanting to do things the right way. These two are like the teacher's pet, goody two-shoes, follow the, the laws to the letter. These two energies. Some of you, you could be... Um, dealing with a person who is married and possibly needs to get divorced or a person who you work with and there's like issues there at work i sense there's a challenge here but i'm trying to figure out if this is a challenge between you and this person or between this person and some sort of outside um situation so let's keep going because we have the five of wands here so tell me about this five of wands why is the five of wands here the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Sorry. This deck is a little too big for my hands, but I just love using it. This is the Northern Animal Tarot, if anybody's curious. Okay, Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? King of Pentacles is also like a goody two shoes. I love the Five of Wands. Strength, Leo energy. There's that other energy of strength, control, a different approach. Can I get one more for the Five of Wands? Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? Three of Pentacles working together. That energy of work again. Putting an effort into something. Building something. Working as a team. Three of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is a card about working hard, planting seeds, watching them grow, watering them, taking your time growing something, but then you're not sure if it's going to pay off. I don't know if this person, and of course you'll know more than me, Capricorn, but I sense that this person is trying to do the right thing or be smart, practical about whatever is going on. I feel like they're showing up as like energies of like the ideal problem solver. Let me do things right. Let me try this approach, strength. Let me be strong. Let me be, um, let me be objective and traditional. Because for some reason, that will help me rise to the challenge, deal with an obstacle, or build something here with the Three of Pentacles. Let me get a little bit more clarity here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? 
Knights of Seven of Wands here. Knight of Cups. Okay, I'm gonna I am going to figure this out, Capricorn. Because I feel like this is a very obviously this probably won't resonate with everyone, but I, it's like a lot of moving parts. There's a lot going on here that the tarot can only tell me so much. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Mm, okay. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Let me not jump to conclusions. <laughs> Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Five of Cups. And then the Double Capricorn. There you are at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Capricorn. I'm starting to think that the problem was with you. I'm starting to think that there was an issue between you and this person. And this person, Three of Swords, Five of Cups, there's disappointment, there's heartache, there's difficulty. I think this person, um, they have a Knight of Cups, they want to bring you to have an Ace of Cups. And it's interesting because I feel like, okay, let me let me clarify the Seven of Cups and then I'll look at all of this together. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about choices, options, making the right choice, choosing the right cup. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Three of Wands. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the seven of cups here? Why am I am getting strange energies? Like I, I am, I am picturing someone right now who, with the hangman, the, the three of wands, isn't choosing, but it's like they're looking to see how you react, or what you're doing. It's like they're too busy like looking at other people or being like distracted by other things when they should be choosing. Hang, hangman as well. Hangman doesn't take action, doesn't communicate. They're able to see things from a different angle because they're hanging upside down. But again, it, the hangman would not be the one making a choice either. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. I get the sense this person doesn't usually choose right. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so now we have an Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles here. Is about an opportunity. Can I get some insight, please, into the Seven of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Capricorn. There's the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So far, I'm, pick I'm picking up on someone that's very conflicted. They are presenting themselves to be upstanding and, like, they follow the rules. They do the right thing. I'm not sure if this is just something that they... W it's like they want to be this person. Because I think that this person made a wrong choice somewhere down the line. It caused problems. And maybe they weren't expecting that. And now it's like, they're like, what do I do now? Seven of Cups. I want a new opportunity with this Nine of Pentacles, which I feel this is you. I feel like you are their wish, Nine of Cups. You know, or their wish is to have a stable connection with you. I'm starting to think that this choice is not something that's completely in their control. Let me find out a little bit more about this person because I am so baffled. And you know, it could very well be that this person like shifts, like, like they, they're very adaptable or they just don't know which approach to use. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign. Someone with air or water in their chart. Can I get some insight, please, on this person's energies when it comes to Capricorn? You're always on my mind. Okay. I have to give something up. Okay. So there's something else here. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, like so overwhelmed that you're not able to make a choice. I love you. 
You're always on my mind. I love you. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I have to give something up. That's that's the missing piece that I don't see. They're fighting with themselves because they don't want to have to give anything up is what I'm starting to picture here. What's at the bottom of the deck? I'm just curious. I wasn't honest with you. Okay. They have to give something up. You could be dealing with someone that has an unhealthy attachment, unhealthy habit. Um, maybe they have to give up a career or a way of doing uh, relationships. Um, that's my duck. Maybe they have to give up this whole not being honest thing. <laughs> maybe they have to actually be honest with you. Or there's someone else. Can I get one more, please? For this person's energy when it comes to Capricorn. I feel like this person wants to do the right thing, but when it comes time to actually making decisions, they don't choose right or they hesitate. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah. Because I feel like this person, you know, I don't want to like talk about them like I know them because obviously you're all dealing with different types of people, Capricorn, with different histories and stuff like that. But I get the sense that this person is normally does the right thing. I feel like this person could be married. Um, they normally do the right thing or they know what to do. They know what the right thing to do is. Um, but for some reason, when it comes to you or this connection, they cannot make choices, you know? They know what they have to do, but they're not doing it. And so that's why I get this energy of someone that's fighting with themselves. They're not, they're not happy with the situation. They're, I feel, trying to find the courage to do what is right, strength. Um, and this is what they have on, like on their mind. Ace of Cups is here and the Ace of Pentacles, you know, beautiful energy is here. It's like, this is what they're thinking when they think about you. But for some reason, I don't think their choices have led them to this. And that Knight of Cups could be an apology is not what I'm thinking. An apology for the fact that they haven't done what they're supposed to be doing. Or what they've promised that they would do because they might have already told you i'll i'll handle it i'll take care of it and it ha obviously has not been handled or taken care of because we're still here so what are their intentions for the future what are their intentions for the future spirit this person that capricorn is has or will be dealing with what are their intentions for the near future with capricorn with this connection what are this person's intentions? What are their intentions for the near future? Capricorn, I will be doing an extended. The extended will be all about your connection as a whole. What are the challenges, blocks there? What advice does spirit have for those challenges or blocks? And where is this all headed in the future? So basically, will they carry out these intentions um so feel free to join us there if you'd like the hermit virgo energy three of wands again with the three of wands and the hermit literally they're a hermit they hide they run away they're withdrawn they're away far away um hard to talk to them when they're there in that state and the hermit is always in search for something they're withdrawn for a, pur for a purpose, and the purpose is to quiet the noise so that they can seek the answers that they need to move forward. And yet, here's the Three of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, once again, I feel like this person has really lofty goals. The goal is to have something long-term, something that's stable, something that is secure. And yet these energies are not making me feel good. I mean, I'll just tell you straight up. Oh, bottom of the deck, the nine of swords. Yeah, exactly. This person is afraid, anxious, stressed out, overwhelmed. You know, overwhelmed. They might even feel guilt. Um, I sense that this person's trying to find another way around this problem. 
Maybe, you know, maybe that's why they're fighting with themselves because when it comes time to do the right thing and make the right choice, they hesitate. And it's because they're wondering to themselves, is there another way? And that's why I can't pin, like I was having such a hard time figuring this person out and what exactly it is that they want because they haven't figured it out yet. They're still trying to figure it out. Tell me about the hermit. The wheel of fortune, yes. <laughs> My golden ticket, that's what they want. They want this like miracle to appear. They want that aha moment that's like, yes, that's what I, that's the one thing I wasn't thinking about or whatever. That's that's going to be my ticket out of this. Maybe I just need to wait for the right time. Maybe I just need to approach this in a different way. Tell me about the hermit. Because I think this person's not ready to give up what they need to give up Capricorn. Not at this time. And it's like, I think they're trying to buy time. Tell me about the hermit. The Seven of Pentacles, yes. This person's very concerned over the future, um, over the result, the outcome of something. Is it going to work out? Is everything going to be okay? Will, will I succeed? Will I have stability? Will I have this Ten of Pentacles? But, you know, Capricorn, I hate to say it, but when it comes to making this decision... I don't think they're thinking about what's best for you. I think they're thinking about what's best for them. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I have one more, please, for the Hermit? Why is the Hermit here? The Two of Swords. Exactly, exactly. Six of Pentacles. This person is stuck making this decision, Capricorn. It, whatever it is that they're needing to give up, if it is an addiction, a parental influence, another partner, uh, a place where they live, friends that maybe could be bad influences, unhealthy attachments, let's just wrap it up there, unhealthy attachments, unhealthy habits. They're still stuck here. And it's like they're thinking about their needs. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Four of Swords. Uh, you know, it's like they're stuck because I don't know. And I really hope this person has not made you any promises. I sense that they do care about you. I love you is here. You're always on my mind is here. So they are thinking about you in some way. But I think right now they're more concerned with what they have to give up and how they feel right now. Tell me about the three of wands. If you're waiting for this person to take action, I just don't see it here in the cards. Um... I, I see them hesitating, waiting, actually, with the Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands. The Hangman. Exactly what I'm... Yes, the Hangman. And the Knight of Swords. Communication, but no action. And there's the Seven of Cups. Yes. This person's buying time, Capricorn. I hate to... I, I really hope I'm not upsetting anyone by saying that you know um i, I want to give this person the benefit of the doubt tell me about this knight of swords tell me about the knight of swords what's this message about maybe they're waiting for a message for information before they take action tell me about the knight of swords but i sense that this has been going on for a while three of swords hey this bothers me too if it were up to me, I would get it done. I'm sad too. I'm heartbroken too. This isn't easy for me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's, I feel, what they're going to tell you here. And they'll be honest. Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck. But I also am picking up that you are going to be this Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I think you're going to be very tough on them. Maybe you are just, you're running out of time yourself. You can't, you, if the, if they ask for more time, you're going to be like, nope, tough cookies. I'm not interested in words, you know? I'm not interested in your pain, your difficulty. That, this is kind of what I'm picking up here with this Queen of Swords. I feel like a lot of you are tired of this. Like I'm sensing, um, I'm, I'm, 
It's like, you know, like a deep sigh. Like someone's just wary, way down. They, they are not even able to be hurt anymore. Let me know if you're feeling that way, Capricorn. If you feel comfortable doing that in the comments. Because I feel like some of you are just, you've given up emotionally. Um, and it's I think it's a self-preservation thing. Maybe by not having expectations, you can no longer be hurt anymore by this person's promises. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's the Nine of Swords. Again, opposite energies. I feel like this person is attracted to this idea, Ten of Pentacles, but it doesn't have the courage to see it through, to do what it takes to have this Ten of Pentacles. They're not willing to pay the price at this time. That could change. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the Sun. I feel like this would make them very happy. This would be something that they would benefit from, this Ten of Pentacles with you. Um, I think they know deep down that they would be happy with you, um, but instead they're this Five of Cups. And it's very strange because I feel like this person, they haven't gotten to that point where they're so sad that they have no other choice or like they feel like they have to make a change. I, I still feel like this person is trying to deal with these feelings of like feeling overwhelmed so that they don't have to feel overwhelmed anymore, but it's not going to help them in the long run, if that makes sense. It's like, okay, I want to I wanna stop feeling this way right now. The way that I feel right now, I want to stop that. But that's like a short-term 